my hands all through the round and I'm sure over the three minute duration that uh, if you put a little bit more time to set him up something a little bit more spectacular he knows he's in the sprint game and he, he really is throwing shots as fast as can be I'm just settling down just a little bit well look at that three punches every one of them on target yeah his accuracy has been very impressive one two three and Dan's doing well to survive all that two little combinations there from the Redditch boy, Lee Pruden. Second down, round four. And despite the fact that Pruden's skill really starting to pay, you. You can't get away from the feeling that if, if Downs landed one on the button, it could all be very different. I think he's going to need something like that to swing this fight now because Pridden seems to have found the right, right way to deal with Downs. But Downs is sticking to his task, but still running on to plenty of shots. Oh, cute. If Pruden wins in any more of those rights, he could make all these arguments obsolete. There's that right hand again, very accurate. That one's a little bit higher this time, but again, finding the target area. And Downs really starting to blow now, He's feeling the pace. I know he took this fight at relatively short notice, but uh, the pace clearly telling on him, and I'm sure he must be delighted that they are only fighting two minute rounds. And obviously, having never had the, um, the opportunity to have seen all of these guys in action before. It looks like um, if you could pick an, an accurate style for Mr. Prison, you'd put Dan's in with him because he's short stock, comes forward, but very one paced, and uh, tailor made for a good left jab merchant like Prison undoubtedly is in his own class. Starting to slap a little bit now, Prison with a right hand, it's obviously a little bit of tiredness creeping in. Oh, to add to Downs' his woes, he's right boot has come undone so he wants to uh, watch his footwork well, he could go uh, face over apex if he's not careful both boys are very tired now that's the two minute duration they've really gone off at a sprint he's now beginning to tell and the downs corner have spotted the errant race doing it up again it's difficult from the corner's viewpoint Jim what do you tell a boy who's a long way behind on points and he's clearly running out of steam and running out of ideas well it was a similar situation the other night when Aaron McDonald was boxing um, it was the first time I've been stuck in a, in a sticky situation but with um, a couple of rounds left on Errol two rounds behind and it was like a S or B situation he really had to go for broke and take a calculated risk and that's a similar advice that I feel that Dan's could, could take at this present moment in time to go out there and just unload and, and throw caution to the wind Dan and try and pull that out of the bag because the way things are going there is you can go down on points. Second down, round five. And that might have been the advice his corner have given him because he's uh, going after Pruden now. And Pruden very sensibly just working behind that jab, covering up when Downs tries to unload. Yeah, you spoke about Pruden doing, doing the basics of winning the fight, and that's basically what he's stuck to, Dave. He's, he's worked left hand never so well and concentrating on basic one two, but it's worked to treat for him. Doesn't try to do nothing spectacular and hasn't needed to. That's a good right up. I got speared through Downs guard. Downs is nothing else. He's certainly resilient. Grimly sticking to his task.
downs and shit punches in every round. And again, here, even though they both gone tired at this stage of the game, he's still shipping too many shots for my liking. He's in grave danger of going. I think you'll see through this round, though. Yeah, he's going as they come. I'd like to see him slip a few more shots, though. Well, I'm not sure whether we congratulate Barry Downs on the toughness of his, toughness of his chin or whether Lee Pruden maybe doesn't punch as hard as he seems to be punching, but uh, Downs took some real stick in that round, Jim. Yeah, he, he did. He's, he's, he's taken stick all the way through, and I think it's probably part of his character and nature just to bite on the old gum shield and keep rolling forward because a lot of boys of um, less resilient characters would have probably said that I do me tonight because he's, he's shipped one or two shots. Obviously, um, from Prince's point of view, Prince doesn't look like he's a big puncher or a big banger, otherwise Stans would have been in big trouble. Because he really has took the right hand bang on. Well, we've got to give both boys all the credit because they have stuck for good or ill to their respective game plans. But I fear as far as this man, Barry Downs, is concerned, the, uh, the courage and the effort might not be quite enough. We shall see. Last round then. If those playing cricket, you could say it's going to be a whitewash because so far I've given Pridden every single round. I gave, gave Downs, I've given Downs a share of one, but um, Pruden well in control. And only perhaps carelessness could uh, stop Pruden winning this one if he walks into a punch. You can and see uh, Downs is a deep, deep rooted fighter. He's really just still trying to pull the fight out, even though he's shipping shots as I speak. Well, he must have a, a fairly decent shin because uh, irrespective of whether Pruden's punching his weight or not, he's getting through with an awful lot. You know, at this stage of the game, the skill's really gone out of the fight and both Ooh. boys are taking shots that earlier in the contest had probably missed. And Downs landed a right hand flush on the jaw and uh, I tell you, Pruden felt that one. Knees wobbled a little bit. And Downs almost down on his feet now. And Pruden, well, Downs almost finishing the stronger of the two. I'll tell you what both boys are thinking about now, Dave. I've been there myself. They're thinking, where's the damn bell? <laughs> We've done enough tonight. I Thank God one. it's only six toes. And Downs really gonna, giving it everything in this last round. I tell you, he's hurt Pruden once or twice. Now Pruden, well you can see less than 20 seconds to go to get this fight. Yeah, it's Pruden on points, but full credit to both boys for giving him 200%. And even if Pruden went down now, he could still win this fight after being on the floor. There's the belt. It's Pruden on points. Well, around 60, 58, 60, 57 and a half, or even 60, 57, we'll see. 60, 57 would be a whitewash scorecard from Jim Pridding. Mike Goodall has got the verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee winning scores of contest. Barry Downs, 58 points. Lee Pruden, 60 points. For the there you go. Four rounds to Pruden, two rounds shared. I won't disagree with that. Good win for Pruden. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with Ernie Loveridge against Ronnie Campbell. A local welterweight contest on Pro Box. Sport. More live sport, more choice. I've just dropped in to suggest that next.